Hi, this is Tony Yi from BorderWorld.com, and today we'll be doing a look at the new Xbox 360 dashboard with the companion app on a Windows phone. So, at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you're looking at the app on my Windows phone, and you can see it mirrors everything you see on the screen. So, you do have um, you do have your hubs on the screen. You can see on the top screen you have your Bing, your home, social, video, games, music, apps, etc. Same thing here you do have here on the phone. We just went through featured, Bing, the games, featured, so on and so forth. Cool thing about the app here is that you can actually control your Xbox with your app. So basically if I hit that button, that brings up a directional pad. Now if you look at the main screen, I can slide over. I'm now over in the social hub. And then over to um, my videos. I can move over to games. I can move over to music, apps, and settings. So settings, of course, your system settings. You have those, which is still similar. If I hit A to go in, you can see my system settings there. I hit B to go back. This is all of my uh, my Xbox 360 companion app, which of course you have is available on iOS and of course Windows Phone. Uh, my preferences, sorry, go back again. Preferences, I have my profile, connect, I can turn off the console. So I'm actually going to go back to the very beginning here and we'll start off. First off with Bing. You can do a full Bing search. Uh, you can search for music, games on your system. I also basically will search your photo gallery, so on and so forth. Um, if you're going to home, of course, your home screen basically has the game you're playing. I have Arkham Asylum, as you guys can see. Uh, my quick play is down below. I have kind of like a feature segment in the middle, and also some advertisements on the right. Very simple. You can, of course, move to the right here. Now, the social. Social is your friends and your application. So you, I can sign in and out, basically, my messenger, which is below right here. And I can also go into my social apps if I go up one more. That brings into my video connect, my Facebook and Twitter, which of course will work the same way. I'm gonna head back again. And of course, friends, I go up. I can go to my friends, I see who friends I have online, and I can scroll through all my friends. See most of them are asleep or not around. And hit back. So that's the social hub. Very simple, very easy to navigate. You can see the way this is tiled, it's a lot so you can use the Metro UI feel. So basically, with Connect, uh, it's easy to go through each uh, option. And then we have the video section where it's my video apps and of course videos and this is Zoom Video Marketplace. Going to the video apps, you have uh, Media Center, which my PC is connected to, and you know how Media Center works in the Xbox. So basically I have my PC, I can stream my music and my videos from there. I have a video player and of course it's in Zoom now video. So it's very simple, very basic. Uh, of course you do have uh, ESPN College, Last Night, and so on, and some ads again. Basically, if you notice, most of these blocks will have advertisements as you move on. Now into games. So I have my games, or games I have, I'm going go in here. Show you all the games I've played. Uh, I can scroll through. It shows you all the games I've played that I have on my, or I've played on my system. I can launch a game, or uh, I can, uh, of course, head back. And then, of course, you do have ad advertisements on the side again. As you can see, World of Warcraft and uh, special sales for Ghostbusters. Alright, so we're now into music. Music app, same thing. You have the Zoom Marketplace, you have some ads, and you have uh, featured musicians like Korn over there and music games. So if I go into my music app, of course my music player, my Zoom music. So if I have that on the system, easy, set, ready to go. Again, I'm controlling this all with my Xbox Companion app, as you can see. Very easy to navigate. And here we have apps. 
So the available apps on Xbox right now are ESPN, Hulu Plus, Netflix, Last FM, and Epix. And of course, you can see your apps, and of course, there's an ad again. So basically, Microsoft is bringing advertising more to your Xbox experience, even though you pay for a gold service. So I go into my apps, shows you the apps I have here. Of course, I have Media Center, Picture Viewer, Zoom Video, Zoom Marketplace, and Media Player. Of course, I can launch Netflix or Hulu Plus. I think I'm still signed into it. So I go into Hulu Plus. You can see there's a Bing search. I can actually do a Bing voice search if I want to or not. Uh, I can jump in here. I believe those are not activated yet. And I can go to the app marketplace. So you have Netflix. Now it's coming soon. Basically both these are coming soon. Netflix, ESPN, uh, Today, Zoom Video, Epic, so on and so forth. Because if I try to launch Hulu Plus, which used to be available, Oh, it's okay. I do have to install the app again. So I did have the app before, but I do have to reinstall it again and something just to take us. So I'm going to just head back while this is going on here. Um, last of frame also, which I had on the system, I do have to install it again anyway. And then, of course, you do have your social apps. And then the coming soon segment. So you have YouTube, Crackle, Daily Motion, iHeart Radio, Sci Fi, TMZ. UFC, so on and so forth. And then of course you have Verizon Fires, Xfinity, HBO to go. And of course you need to have these services anyway in order for you to use them. So it's one of those things just to take note. And back here. And of course again, we're back to our settings and our accounts. One more thing I, I do want to show you, uh, you guys here. If you look up on the screen, so let me sign out of my accounts. So I'm going to sign out. Yes. So I'm signing out. Uh, back. Oh, this I actually can't show you in this mode. Uh, this is connecting again. Um, basically, uh, when you first start off, uh, you turn on no, turn off your Xbox. Actually, I can do that. Let me turn off the Xbox first. And now uh, we can try that out. Okay, turn off console. All right, this is what I mentioned. So when you sign onto your Xbox for the first time, this is how you're turning your Xbox for the first time. This is what happens. Uh, the new layout is you can actually see all the different uh, avatars or accounts you have in the system, who has Xbox Live, who doesn't, the um, yeah, game attack, the game of points, so on and so forth. And you can scroll through, you can create new, you can download profile, or you can skip sign in, if you will. So I'm just gonna go to Thunder E here. I can use connect if I want to, to do that, and uh, sign in here. So it's very simple, very uh, easy process. Uh, just take a minute to sign in, and yes, we're back again. So that's a brief look, uh, walkthrough of the Xbox Live dashboard uh, update, which now has the new Metro UI, UI style, uh, style look. Um, works well, looks great. Also, the companion app uh, is fantastic on the, on the system. It actually works pretty well. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's Border Work with uh, two O's. Uh, and also hit us up on our Google Plus app page with the link in the description below. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and uh, always enjoy entertainment.